Hello, hello guys. So it's uh, Justin Hopper from La Vida Liverpool, um, here at Inaguri Wellbeing Centre in North Liverpool. Here joined by amazing, incredible actress, MJ Carter, um, Channel 4 star, chat show host. <laughs> so we're making a, a sequence of videos, uh, raising awareness about different things. Um, and today MJ is going to ask me about a very important project I'm involved with. Yeah, so when we first met, you were so passionately telling me about the Argentina documentary. Mm -hmm. And it, it's a great, great documentary that you're making. Where did this start? Where was your passion for it lie? Well, first first of all, I mean, in terms of the, the documentary side of things, it's, again, it's proved quite difficult to make, you know, with funding and different things like that. But the essence of the whole thing is about the campaign. Yeah. And what the campaign is about, um, there's some incredible bunch of guys uh, in Argentina, uh, war veterans actually, yeah. uh, who fought in the Falklands War against the British. Uh, they called them Malvinas. So where this story and campaign came about is there's a guy from Morton uh, in the Wirral called Edward Denmark who suffers from terminal blood cancer. Right. He's a war veteran. He fought against the Argentinian. He was a rapier gunner in the British Army. Wow. So they fought against each other for, for three months in a, in a bloody war. And then that was in 1982. So he released a book and he became friends with the Argentinian um, war veterans, his former enemy. Wow. And he found out there's a bunch of these guys in Argentina who were defending the, the mainland coast of Argentina in the war who have not been recognised by their government for their part in the war so the argentinian governments have turned around and said you guys weren't under threat you know so you know you don't deserve the medals and the, the health care actually this is a lie um because you know we've actually got a witness statement from um british special forces and uh, we've actually got evidence that the british did attack the argentinians on the main coast uh, on the main coast in fact people you know on the mainland people died you know there's gun gunfires exchanged. So so the Argentinian government are lying so they don't have to, 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 to pay out these veterans who are willing to die for their country. So where did this okay, so that, that story is just like, oh my goodness, a vital part of our history. Where did this passion come from? What made you want to put your name to this and be involved in this? Well it's through Edward Denmark. Uh, Edward Denmark And how did you meet him? Well, um, obviously I've got La Vida Liverpool online magazine. Yeah. Um, I came across his story, he contacted me about this story. And when I found out that this guy's got terminal cancer and he's actually fighting for recognition wow. for his former enemy, the guys he was trying to kill, he's actually now, you know, trying to, trying to get recognition for his former wow. enemy. So um, through him really, he's an incredible man. Um, and Eddie and I went over to Argentina. Um, wow not last gen one before um to meet all the veterans we went to the air bases we met all the he met the pilot that he was shooting at you know stuff wow, like this wow what a life experience we went on all the biggest news channels in argentina we've been interviewed by christian martin one of the biggest argentinian journalists um you know for espn and stuff like this and fox news wow so we we've done massive things to uh, to, to, to raise awareness, uh, Eddie's been on national TV in Argentina yeah. addressing the Prime Minister, saying, listen, these guys need recognition. We still get ignored. And what made, what's made you want to be a part of it then? So obviously we've heard about Edward and his journey and what he's been through and his you know, phenomenal, inspiring story. What made you want to be a part of it? Well, because I think Edward's an incredible man and I believe in, in the cause so much. And yeah. my name Justin means justice. You know, wow. and I'm all about justice, and I don't like injustice, yeah. uh, and I don't like, um, I don't like, you know, uh, you know, corrupt governments, and I don't like, you know, um, and I like things. I'm a very moral and ethical person, so you know, it means a lot to me. But having met Julio Herrera Vidal, the man in Argentina, hi Julio, Hello. the guy in Argentina leading the campaign for the veterans, we went to the we stayed in his house. We had the wow. amazing asado and Malbec. Um, Julio and his family uh, and all the other guys out there have become so special, such special friends, such yeah. amazing human beings. And I want to, I want to try and achieve this justice for them. I've, I've got a lot of media exposure with this. We've, um, we've written to the Amnesty International. You know, I've done that. You know, um, but we're not going to stop Filled fighting. Building, building. So tell us yeah. about the documentary. 